All right, in this tutorial video, I'm just looking at the Bootstrap for Carousel and the modal. Before I get started, yes, I already have some nice images. I'm going to drag those images into my project so that I can use them in the carousel. So I go to assets. I mean, honestly, you don't even need to go to assets. You can drag them into your glitch page anywhere. It's uploading them one at a time. Banner one, banner two, banner three. A carousel is just a slideshow. It shows one picture at a time and it scrolls through them. You can manually make them go left, right. Um, it has these indicator buttons at the bottom. Sometimes these are dots. Sometimes these are little lines so that you know which number you're on. Like I'm on one of three right now. You can click on these indicators to jump around or you can click on the um, previous or next buttons. There's a lot of code to copy. Copy and let's figure out where I want to put this. Under row two is where I decide I'm going to put it. Since this is just an example, it really doesn't matter. I'm leaving myself notes about this is this is where row two ends. That was really helpful. Paste. Okay, there's my carousel. Carousel indicators. These are the the little dots. The slideshow itself with a first image, a second image, and a third image, and then just the buttons to control it. You have the option to customize it. You don't have to have left and right controls. You don't have to have the indicators at the bottom. You're, you're allowed to delete those and it'll still work just fine. All I need to do is change these images. So the first one is outside HBHS. This one is Jaguar News. And then the last one is Lunchroom. Copy and paste the um, URLs. Notice that this is a, from a CDN, a content distribution network. Let's see what it looks like. Refresh the page. Uh, looks bad. Looks bad. Um, it's really zoomed in because uh, these are big pictures. How do I fix them? There are a couple things you could do. You could do style um, width. You can just use the built-in HTML width and say 100%. The way that this works is it looks at what this image is inside of. In this case, it's inside of a carousel item div. However large that div is, that's how large it's going to make the image. Right now, the image was like going off the screen. So I've only done with this with the first one. Refresh. The first one now fits properly. But when I switch to the next one, it's it's way too big and pixelated and awful looking. That's what we want. We just add width 100% for each of these images. And refresh. And it'll automatically scroll through them as well. Um, that's the carousel. If I wanted to add more pictures, I could. I would just copy one of these like that and paste it. If I wanted less pictures, you could do that as well. Here's what it looks like. Oh, I still only have three indicators. Um, so if you were going to add a fourth picture, then you probably want to add another indicator. Um, but it looks like all I have to change is data slide to number three. Refresh. Now I have four indicators. If I press the fourth indicator, it jumps to that picture. It works. Finally, modal. What is a modal? It's a more modern looking dialog box pop-up. Looks like that. How do you create one? You're going to start by just copy pasting. Okay. Then we're going to customize it. Let's put this at the bottom of the page. Um, I think this closes out the main container. I want it to be inside the main container. Okay. Let's see what it looks like right now. Open modal and it shows up. It just works. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this email sign up thing on the modal. So the button is going to say, click here to sign up. Up, it'll automatically resize the button so that it looks right. And then I'm going to take my sign up stuff, this whole form group, and I'm going to put it on the modal. Here's where the modal begins. It has a modal header, it has a modal body, and it has a modal footer. They did such a great job of putting notes so that you know what's going on, so that you're not confused. I'm going to replace where it says modal body with my sign up form stuff. Test it out. Click here to sign up. I press it. I've got email, sign up. Um, you know what doesn't look very nice, though, is the fact that this is a white background on a white thing. Um, let's try, what was the light gray background? Is it secondary? Light. Let's try light, and then we can try secondary. So BG light. Let's try modal content. BG light. It's very subtle, but I can see a difference now between where I'm supposed to type and the background of the um, the pop-up. Secondary. Click here to sign up. That's more like what I was looking for. Um, I don't like the fact that right now there's a sign up and a close button. We can just get rid of that close button. This footer 
If I just delete it, it's still gonna work. It's still gonna be fine. Click here to sign up. That looks nice. And then after I sign up, the person can click on this X to close the modal, or they can always just click out here to close the modal. I could put an image inside of the modal. I can get rid of the modal heading. Let's just do that last example. What's it look like if I put an image inside of a modal? All right, I have an image, copy. And instead of this form group, IMG SRC equals, um, it shouldn't say sign up. Uh, instead, um, you can just say click me. That's fine. You press click me and we see the picture. It might be important to resize this picture so that, uh, you know, if the picture is too big, if the picture is too small. So width 100% might be a good idea. It might not look good in this case. Let's see. It looks fine. And now it fills up the full modal. What would it look like if we got rid of the modal heading? The modal header looks like that. One more thing I want to try. What if we take this image we create a little thumbnail and this thumbnail image, the small version of the image is going to be what's on the button. We don't actually need to have just text on the button. We could have a small version of the image there. In this case, I don't want it to be 100%. Um, some small size is what I want for a thumbnail because a thumbnail is just a small size image. So there's my thumbnail. Click on the thumbnail and I see the full size image. That's pretty cool. All right.